In WoW Classic's Season of Discovery, each class will get 12 runes, and in this video I will talk about the runes priests will get, and also I will show you some build ideas that I have. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like, that helps a lot. Now, let's begin. First, let's talk about the shadow damage runes for priests. Mindseer. You can engrave this rune on your gloves. If you play Wrath of the Lich King, you know how this spell works. You deal shadow damage to all enemies around your target within 10 yards an AoE spell that many Shadow Priests will be happy to have. And talking about AoE for Shadow Priests, here comes the next rune. Shared Pain. You can engrave this rune on your legs. Every time you use Shadow Word Pain on a target, it will be applied to two additional nearby enemies within 15 yards. This will allow you to apply Shadow Word Pain on pack of mobs easily. AoE Dots. The next rune is a new dot spell Priests will get. It's called Void Plague. You can engrave this rune on your chest, this dot spell lasts for 18 seconds and is a disease, not a magic effect like Shadow Word Pain. One more dot to keep up on bosses. I'm not sure if there's going to be a debuff limit in Season of Discovery. Hopefully not. Now let's check the single target DPS runes. Shadow Word Death. You can engrave this rune on your gloves. This is the Shadow Priest's finisher. Good for PvE and PvP. You deal shadow damage to a target. And if it doesn't die, you will hurt yourself for the same amount of damage you apply to a target. It could sound dangerous, but you want to spam this spell on cooldown as much as possible. The next rune is Twisted Faith. You can engrave this rune on your chest. You deal 20% more damage with Mind Flay and Mind Blast to targets afflicted by Shadow Word Pain. A good single target buff, as long as you keep Shadow Word Pain up, 20% more damage with two of your main spells. I don't know how good this will be in low levels due to not having shadow form, once dealing around the same damage Mindflay does, and possible mana issues. And the last shadow damage rune is Homunculi. You can engrave this rune on your legs, three copies of you will appear that will try to apply three different debuffs to your target. Reduced attack speed, reduced attack power, and reduced armor. The copies will attack with melee weapons. I don't know if this spell will benefit from the Shadow Focus talent which reduces the chance enemies will resist your Shadow spells, but still I think you want to use this for boss encounters. Now let's talk about the healing runes. First we have Penance. You can engrave this rune on your gloves. If you play Wrath of the Lich King you know this spell. Launches a volley of holy light at the target, healing if it's a friendly target or dealing damage if it's an enemy target. It's a strong single target healing. Next we have Power Word Barrier. You can engrave this rune on your legs, summons a holy barrier for 10 seconds at a location, and everyone inside of it takes 25% less damage and don't get their spell casting delayed from damage. The barrier looks like a holy light dome, is stronger and is probably going to be used in boss encounters. The next rune is Prayer of Mending. You can engrave this rune on your legs. This is another spell that you can find in Wrath of the Lich King Classic. You cast this spell on a friendly target. When the target receives damage, they get healed by a certain amount, and the buff jumps to another party or raid member within 20 yards. The buff lasts for 30 seconds and can jump up to 5 times. And here's another AoE heal rune, Circle of Healing. You can engrave this rune on your gloves, heals all of the target's party members within 25 yards for a certain amount. It's a very, very strong AoE heal. The next rune is Serendipity. You can engrave this rune on your chest. Healing with Flash Heal will reduce the cast time of Lesser Heal, Heal, Greater Heal, or Prayer of Healing by 20%. And you can stack this effect three times so you can get up to 60% reduced cast time on some of your healing spells. The buff lasts for 20 seconds. It sounds like a very strong passive buff. It could give priests really good single target healer capabilities, like a sort of a holy paladin, but I'm concerned about the mana consumption though. And the last rune is Strength of Soul. You can engrave this rune on your chest, lesser heal, Heal, Greater Heal, and Flash Heal reduce the remaining duration of Weakened Soul on targets they heal by 4 seconds. Basically, this means that you will be able to reapply shields to a target much faster. It's very interesting, but 
I don't know if warrior and druid tanks will like to get shields constantly because of the rage. Warriors do get some rage generation runes though. Those were all the runes. Now let's talk about some possible builds. I don't think I have played enough priest healer and there is other healers that always look more fun for me to play. Still, I will give all of you some thoughts I have on talents, spells and runes. First, I wanna say that Renew is good in low levels. I have healed dead mines and Wailing Caverns with use Renew for the most part in hardcore, so probably getting improved Renew through Arrow 3 could be a thing. There is no runes that improve Renew at level 25 though. Now, runes. Well, there is legs and gloves runes for two situations, boss encounters and decent sized mob pools. You are gonna need to switch constantly the runes in these two slots depending on what's ahead for you. For now, I will set Penance and Power Word Barrier as my gloves and legs runes for like a boss encounter. A strength of soul will be for a sort of discipline priest, constantly reapplying Power Word Shield on your target as soon as you can. I feel like for strength of soul you want these talents, getting proof shield, crit chance for your heals and the last 3 points could be for renew or to get improved fortitude. Serendipity will be more for like a holy priest, a priest that chooses to spam flash heal and use other single target healing spells when they get the 60% cast time reduction. Talents for serendipity will be more like this. The last 4 points could go for maybe 2 out of 3 on renew and 2 out of 2 on healing focus to avoid cast interruptions. Now, let's talk about Shadow Damage builds. I have a much better idea here because I have played Shadow Priests a lot. Same deal with the gloves and leg rune slots, you will have to change them out of combat depending on what's ahead of you. Boss encounter, or decent sized mob pool, or a combination of both. I will set Shadow War Death and Humunculi for a boss situation. Now for chest. If you choose Twisted Faith, your talents have to look like this. This way you use 100% of the bonuses from the rune. I would probably go for these talents, but I'm worried that I'm going to run out of mana very quickly. So, this is my plan B. Switch to Void Plague, and this will be my talents. Instead of improved Mind Blast, we get one specialization. There is one last point, which I would probably put it on improve mind blast half a second cooldown reduction is still decent or maybe more heat from shadow focus 2 or if i want to be a team player i take one point from shadow focus and get two out of two improved fortitude now the play style well pretty much you just keep up all the dots that you can apply and that priests will have an additional dot called devouring play cast mind blast on cooldown and in between all of that you use your one. This way I think I would be more efficient with my mana. And that's it. These were some build ideas. They are not perfect, there's a lot of room for improvement, but I just wanted to share them just so I can give you, all of you some ideas. If you found this video helpful, leave a like and subscribe, that helps a lot. I will be doing videos for the other classrooms, same format at the end, some build ideas for other classes too. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Later.